received a question from Andrew asking, I'm currently in the process of backing up my Blu-ray discs to my computer. I've purchased any, D any DVD HD, which Ooh. works great for ripping Blu-ray, but I've run into a snag. Each ISO file is around 40 gigabytes. Is there any way to compress that down to, say, 15 to 20 and still make it playable? I've already filled up almost four terabytes of hard drive space, uh, and it's getting expensive to back up my Blu-ray collection. Signed, Andrew. Why? That's a lot of... It's not, nothing you can relate to. No, no. I just recently, <laughs> just recently upgraded my NAS storage to four one and a half terabyte drives. So I get six terabytes, and then out of that I get about four. And I've, yeah. I've already got about half full. Oh. <laughs> anyway. First of all, let's say, Andrew, we know you're only backing up Blu-rays or DVDs that you already own. Because to, say, rent a disc and back it up onto your own hard drive at home makes you a scumbag who steals content. And if we ever abdicated that, we would be beaten, which would be actually kind of cool compared to being sued into oblivion. So please, buy the stuff, because, you know, actors and directors and lighting artists and all those people deserve to eat, too. Yeah, <laughs> but for the topic of backup and file conversion from that disk media that you do own, right. a good first step is to point your browser at videohelp.com. This is a one-site super site, really, for yeah. basically DVDs, CDs, S-video CDs, now Blu-ray. And Converting them in the any format you want. Totally. Ar archiving it with either pay-for tools like any DVD HD, as well as some free options out there, although I guarantee they probably don't work as well. But when it comes to doing that conversion, mm -hmm. uh, some of the tools I really like, yeah. like Handbrake, for instance, is a great conversion tool, but I don't believe it works with the file formats that you run into on Blu-ray discs. So instead, uh, you'll find, like I said, at uh, videohelp.com, you'll have the guides for converting those discs into just about any format you want. And aside from using that any DVD tool to do the right. hard decrypting, uh, the other tools that you do will use are usually free. Either okay. you want to convert it to another disc format that's just more compressed to be able, and still be able to play right. it on your Blu-ray player to something that you could perhaps stream to your game console or you know whatever kind of compatibility you're looking for. Yeah, I mean if you if you're looking because you could do like a you know you could basically compress that file down. If you're if you're looking to archive it, yeah, you want everything off the disc. If you just want the movies, you can take the movie and skip everything else. You can reduce the movie size by going to a, a higher level of compression that comes on the disc. Because basically there's there's a huge I want to say like most cable and satellite is streamed to like one and a half megabit per second. Up to up to eighteen and a half megabit, oh, or really? about that nineteen for cable? megabit. And satellite? Well, I mean, not satellite. Satellite's okay. usually around twelve. They don't talk okay. about it. What they really are delivering right. to you, but on cable, it can go as high as the full ATSC bit rate. Uh, was it nineteen point three eight oh, wow. megabit okay. per second? Does it actually ever hit that? Not always, right. and I guarantee you they're squeezing bits whenever they can. And they have other technologies, too, they're incorporating to make their, their end easier and smoother. But Videohelp.com will help you experiment with different file compression levels and types to see if you can find something that gives you the video quality you want. But Totally. I was actually looking file. on that guide, and they had some, uh, they had some uh, guides for converting using the AVC HD format that's oh, popular really? with consumer camcorders. Uh, that, those files can be burned onto regular DVD media and still maintain. It's still a high-def format. Now, right. you're, you're probably not going to get as much storage capacity but it's an option there too. Anyway, videohelp.com. Go check it out.